Hey YouTube, Merry Christmas. Guess where I'm at? Yes, Sales sir. Man, yes, Paul sir. Taylor. Only one. Yes, He's right. His first car. That's he right. To do the dump. That's right. Come on, let's go. Let's go make some noise. You got the good side. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh, oh. With gap. <laughs> With gap. He doesn't want it. He doesn't want the gap. <laughs> Look at my baby. Hi. Hello. Thank you, Jesus. What's up, YouTube? It is your girl, Ayla Lynn, and it is Vlogmas Day 13 and 14. And I know you guys are wondering, like, why is it a two-day? That's because when I got back home, my day has, days has just been super long. And by the time I get back home, it's already like 11, 12 o'clock and I didn't have time to post. But I do have some good news for you guys. God has been amazing to me. And I'm gonna tell you guys my story. <laughs> oh, and when I said it's my first time doing it, it is, it's my first time hitting the bong. Hello, period. <laughs> so like i always wanted the car where i have the sunroof i'll be able to be my friends kick it drive it you know stuff like that but i wasn't ready just yet my freshman year so second some uh second year came and i was just like i want to be able to be on the go i want to go places because out in the bay like it's hard when you don't have a car and just yeah so i wanted to be able to drive i wanted to be able to go far to go get my hair done because a lot of the like hair places people who do hair they're far like the good ones are far and so i wanted to be able to drive to go get my hair done just like different desires of my heart i had and i expressed that to god and like i tell god everything y'all like when i say everything everything and i already know he know but i tell him anyway and so um I pray, you know, and um, we were supposed to get the car in the beginning of the semester, uh, my sophomore uh, semester before I came back to school. That didn't work out. And I just pray. I just pray, pray, pray. And a um, couple of days ago, just before I came home, I was just telling God, you know, Lord, if I can't drive and you know I can't drive it, I'm going to get it a car accident. If you don't let me get this car, like I told him, because I be for real. Like I don't play sugar coat. I don't play with the car. And the enemy, like you still can't drive because y'all, it's, it's tough, but I know I can do it because God wouldn't have blessed me with a car if I couldn't, couldn't do it. And so, um, so I'm here, you know, with my car and, um, it's just amazing to see how God works. Like, it's really just amazing because this is something that I prayed for. And this is something I was honest with God with. Like, you know, Lord, let me know if I'm ready or not. Let me know if I would ever be ready. Because the enemy wanted to put in that you're not going to be able to drive. You can't drive because, you know, my family members, you know, and 
And it, that was just something that was just taunting me because I wanted to be able to drive. And I just expressed those feelings to God and I let him know, like, you know, Lord, I want to be able to drive. And he let me get my license and he blessed me. He put me in the position to get this car. And it is so crazy, y'all. If you know me, if you know me, my favorite color is brown. I love brown. I love everything about brown. I don't care if it's a dark brown, a light brown, mid brown, oh, brown. Like, that's my favorite color. And people be like, oh, my God, yo, where is that? that okay. And, but my favorite color is brown, y'all. And my keys, like, this is just, this was like a kiss mark to me that I feel like God was saying, like, yeah. Like, what key chain do you know? be brown y'all like normally they're black but this was brown y'all and that's really my favorite color and i just feel like the lord was just saying like i got you and so to people out there that's you know y'all have desires for different things and you know you're wanting you're seeking go to god because god is a god he will provide and when i tell y'all he will provide i'm tearing up y'all because like he would really provide and he listens and that's the cold part about it it's like he listens to what it is that you want he listens to like you know you might want to do something in life and you might feel like you know well i don't know if the lord you know wants me to do that if you go to him and you ask him like he is so vast like he's just you can't put him in a box because he's not a god to be put in a box because he can be what you want him to be God is a God that can be whatever you want him to be like. And it's crazy because it's really true. He can be what you want him to be. And just the process of just getting this car, you know, it's crazy. It's crazy. And because the enemy is still fighting with me. You got this car and you can barely drive. And it's just like. God got me this car, so I will be able to drive. I'm still in the learning process, but I will be able to drive. And so I'm just taking my kiss from God. <laughs> I'm just taking my kiss from God, and I'm taking this car, and I'm going to do right by it. And, and I'm just, y'all, I'm in awe. Like, God is awesome. And this is just to show y'all, I want y'all to see the evidence of God in my life, y'all. The evidence, as long as I'm doing God's will and I'm being in him, I'm continue to be in his will and follow his teachings, then I will be able to receive anything that I ask for from him. And that's uh, John, 1 John 15, verse 7. It says, if you remain in me and follow my teachings and acts and follow my teachings, you can ask of anything you want and, will, and it will be given unto you. And so I try to remain in him by following his teachings and where is his teachings in his word. So I'm trying to consistently stay in God's word, because if I stay in God's word, then that means I'm remaining in him. And if I'm remaining in him, then I can ask for something that I want and it would be granted unto me. And so I'm just blessed, y'all. I am honestly blessed. And I want y'all to see the liveness of God in my life the liveness he is evident he's here he's here and he moves he really works and you guys can go look at my driving video y'all i was scared i don't really know too much about driving and, and you know i'm i'm a person i'm an overthinker and i listen to a lot of things so when driving it's a lot going on like i'm hearing everything i am hearing the sound it's a lot but if god could bless me with this car then that means I should be able to drive. And that's what I'm going on with. If he's able to bless me with it, then that means I can go through with it. If he's able to bless me with it, then that means I'm able to go through the process and take this car and get my groove on. Hello, period. So that's that. And y'all, I'm going to just say this right now. 
I have dreams and desires of where I want to be. So my dream home is in New York. I want to be in New York and I want to have my own condo. Them condos be higher than a kite. I want the condos with the glass wall where you can see the city view and, you know, the light night shine and glistening. That is my dream. And I know the Lord is going to provide for me. It might not be in New York, but it, it could be in L.A., wherever. But I know that I want the condo and I know that God is going to bless me with that condo if I remain in him and I keep doing what it is that he want me to do so y'all this is just go to say that i want to speak this so i can be able to refer back to you when this happens like oh god is doing this in my life and so um i just want to say y'all god is there and uh god is real and god can be evident in your life as well he can be evident in your life as well he is all you have to do is go to him Meet him halfway, meet him halfway because he is there and he will be able to bless you the same way he blessed me. He can bless you same way. He's the same God. The same God that's doing it for me is the same God that can do it for you and more. Whatever your heart desire, whatever you desire in your heart, you say, Lord, I want this. He can do it. And if you have faith and you believe that he can do it, because with this car situation, y'all, I didn't know. I did not know if it was going to be a go with me getting this car. I didn't, y'all. But I said, you know what? I'm going to put on my clothes and I'm going to get ready as if I'm going to go get this car. And I did that. And guess what? Oh, it was a go. So get ready. Get prepared for whatever you asking for. Get prepared. Fall in line and get with God and he will bless you. He will. He will bless you. He will bless you. God is real. God is real, y'all. He will bless you. And be true to him. Tell him the truth. Tell him how you feel. I told him how I feel. Lord, I don't know if I can do it. But he's showing me you can do it. And I love my little kids. Y'all, my favorite color is really brown, y'all. I'm just so happy. This key happened to be brown. And it's like, that ain't nothing but the Lord. That just show me, to remind me, like, look, you got this. This is yours. It was for you. And I just want to say thank you to my dad for all the help God used him. And, y'all, I'm, I'm blessed. And I'm, th I'm very thankful. And look at that brown. EPS yeah look at it <laughs> but i am blessed i am solely blessed and i'm thankful i'm grateful and god is worthy to be praised he is he is more than worthy to be praised so if anyone who's non-believer believer or whatever i'm here to tell you this lord jesus christ is that man is real that man is real and that that man is no joke and if you have something that you desire in your heart he will bless you with it he will give it and so with that being said y'all <laughs> ah, i'm with it y'all let me show y'all my baby it's gonna be real windy so hold on again my feet now Look at her, yo. That's Ayla. <laughs> that's that's this Ayla. Hey, Ayla girl. This Ayla, y'all. Look at little Ayla. So, with that being said, I'm going to cut this video off, and I'll see you guys later. Well, I gotta add in some other clips. So, yeah. However, it's gonna work out. It's gonna work out. I say, what you say? Ugly. She said that brown is ugly, y'all. Look what I just told y'all a few moments ago. Yeah, you might think it's ugly, but that's a kiss from the Lord. <laughs> Cause I got a good shot now. Currently looking for some uh spell goods. 
to Febreze is for my car. So I got me some smell goods for my baby. <laughs> for my baby. Hey, baby. Whoa. Oh, wait a minute.